What's up guys, we're over here at Spear Halloween in Brighton, Michigan. I hear they have a ghost face sidestepper now. I am on the hunt for him. Let's go inside and see if they got him. Stilt and Leatherface are waiting to greet us here. Leatherface is holding his saw so low. There he goes. <laughs> I love Leatherface. I cannot wait to play the video game. We are on the hunt for more chainsaws. They are kind of hard to find this year. All right, Leatherface, we've got stilts right here waiting to juggle his pins for us. He is so tall. I love his little hat too, that's funny. I love his face. The bright colors on him are awesome. All right, we'll go around the corner here. Waiting around the corner is the widow. She is waiting to break her neck for us. There she goes. Oh my gosh, she almost broke her head off. I love the widow. All right, widow, we'll go around the corner here. We have some things inside. We've got the sitting scarecrow as always. Let's get him going. Come on, sitting scarecrow. There he goes. The scary sitting scarecrow. Right behind him, we always have Dagger Mike. I imagine Dagger Mike and sitting scarecrow are good friends, always being next to each other. There he goes. Man, I love those blue lights and the flames. I should totally decorate my office with those. Around the corner here, I know I saw Slim waiting on us. Here's Slim. All right, buddy, let's go. Maybe? You kind of have to step on the pad a little extra. Maybe not, he's not working, that's too bad. We'll still honk his nose anyways. Honk, and around the corner we should have poor George. Yes, we do. Poor George is so great. Look at that face and the bloody teeth. Poor George is so cool. Love the colors, green, purple, and black and his orange fiery hair. Over here, we have a whole stack of animatronics we're gonna go through in just a minute. They have the Mars Attacks Martian, but they do have a lot of stuff set up over here that I want to get going first, including whatever this guy's name is. I keep forgetting the Hanging Ghost or something like that. The Howling Spirit, that's what he's called. And look at him, he's broken, oh no. His arm is broken, look at that, it's so limp. That is too bad. A lot of these seem to get damaged this year. We also have the Gargoyle. The fogging gargoyle. I imagine some fog comes out of his mouth, maybe. Around the corner from him, we do have Darling Dolly and Eternal Rest, always eternally spinning her head. She never quite works correctly. But let's see if Darling Dolly's set up. Yes, she is. Come on, Darling Dolly, spook me. I love Darling Dolly. I might get her by the end of the year, including a uh, spooky tree because I love how she just kind of blends in with it. All right, right around the corner, we have Gordo waiting for us. King Gord, let's go. There he goes, love that cat sound and the guts. All right, the Riz Reaper is waiting to show me his girlfriend. Come on, Riz Reaper. There he goes. I love how loud he is whenever they turn him up. And his jaw is working really good right now. He's opening his mouth super wide. $300 for Blackheart. All right, Blackheart, we're gonna go over here. We've got Desmodus. Please, please, please work Desmodus. Yes, I love it. His eyes aren't lighting up, but he does throw his wings up in the air. He is so awesome. I want him and Darling Dolly. We also have the Grave Watcher. She is whispering at us. I do not know what she says. I'll have to listen to her one of these days. The door mechanism. We're going to see how this is timed. There he goes. The timing is always a little bit off, but that's okay. He is super awesome, and I love the brown spider. 
You know what would be cool is if they had a white spider. All right, we have a whole stack of animatronics here. Look at this. We've got two of the Widow, two of the Blackheart, Young Crouchy, Leatherface. We have a sandworm right there. Eternal Rest, Nozzles the Clown, another sandworm, some little Jack Carver. I have not seen him set up and operating yet. How much is he? $170. I want to see him set up so bad. They also have Fogging Stole Pile, another Leatherface. I'm so glad they have a bunch of him this year. Stilts. And that seems to be it, man. Oh no, they have a howling spirit. They have a couple of them. He is so awesome, $200, I want him too. And back over here at this stack, we have Man's Possessed Friend, lots of him this year. Last year, I feel like he was kind of hard to find. We have some scary sitting scarecrows and the regular sitting scarecrow from last year, two straw men and one Emmeline. I have not seen her working yet either, and I really want to, because she looks super cool. And I've seen her jump mechanism online, and it is super awesome. Two of the Mars Attacks Martian. I love the packaging on that, the yellow and red. It really pops out. I always look at all the inflatables right after the animatronics, and they have plenty of them, including that ghost. We saw that ghost at the last store, and he is super awesome and super tall, and I love his face. I'd also love to set up the coffin. Look at him. How tall is he? 5.7 foot, so he is actually really cool. I'd love to see him blown up. And they also have the skeleton. I do not see the skeleton all too often and he is $50. That is not too bad. He's eight feet tall. That is a tall skeleton. Man, I would love to see that blown up. Always a lot of oh, zombie babies here. Look at this. We've got Devil Cherub. Let's see if he works. There he goes. I love those glowing red eyes. And in the dark, his entire face lights up red. We also have the Hand Eater, Mothy Max. He is always missing some moths. I wonder if in the packaging they break off. And then we've got the Brain Eater. And we have a Crawler over here. And the Spider Eater. What is his name? He is Spider Biter Billy, $45. A couple of horror babies over here. We've got Pennywise and Sam, as always. I kind of want to find Leatherface again. I want to buy him so bad. They have these Chucky dolls, but I don't see the other guy. Gwen, I think his name is. I don't see him a lot, and he is kind of rare, and supposedly he sells out very quickly. Over here, we do have the Michael Myers sitting statue right there. Look at that pumpkin. That is so awesome. At night, that would look really cool. And and look around the corner here. We have sidesteppers, a whole bunch of them. Let's see if they work. We've got Spikey. Yes, he's working. We also have Sam. Let's see if he goes. Yes, there's a Sam working. And we also have Pennywise. He's working as well. You gotta kinda move his arms a little bit, but there he goes. He is working. And they have Billy Butcherson. We saw Billy Butcherson a lot last year. Oh, that one's not gonna work. Let's see if another one works here. We gotta get him going. Come on, Billy. I want to see you step to the side. <laughs> there he goes. Billy Butcherson with his red lighting up eyes. Look at that wild hair on him. I am looking for the ghost face sidestepper. I want that one. They have both of the Killer Clown statues right here. They both light up and they are super cool. I can't get this one to light up. Oh my gosh, the button is broke off. Lots and lots of signs here, and they have a bunch of good ones this year too. Check it out. We've got the Martian pistol, and it changes when you move it side to side. And they have the Haddonfield Have a Knife Day. I love it. Look at that pumpkin. We've also got one of my favorites right here, Slow Alien Invasion Area. It looks like it was melted with the blaster and shot up with bullets. And they have this Camp Crystal Lake one, and they have that one. That one is my favorite. Super good quality. It's wooden. I love it. Guys, I don't know if they don't have air conditioning in here or something, but I am burning up. This is the hottest store I've ever been inside. I love to look at all the masks. Let's check out some of the cool ones. I love the zombie ones. Look at that. So freaky. They also have this guy down here, the Wicked Scarecrow. He is another super freaky mask. They also have Jesus, the Holy Man. And they do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. Pretty woman. Look at that. That is honestly the best look one I've seen so far. They push his hair up and his face is not deformed at all. 
It is super creepy even just holding this. I'm getting spooked just holding him. Let's get rid of him. The ghost face mask is always one of my favorites. I love it. $13 too. That's a nice affordable mask that is always popular. And we have the Jason Voorhees hockey mask. They've got the Mars Attacks Martian. Look at how wide his mouth is open. He's about to eat a cheeseburger. They have my favorite Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th mask right here. Whenever you open up the mask, you can see his freaky face. Look at that. I love it. That's my favorite one. And this is $60. And look right over here at what I found. It's a chainsaw. These are hard to find this year. It's working sort of. The blade is supposed to be going, oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it's not working 100%, but it is super cool, and I would totally get that. $50, you'd have to get that and the leather face mask. I'll have to keep an eye out, though, for, like, a suit or some kind of a butcher costume. So speaking of the weapons, I love these. The bat with the nails in it. Let's see how much that is. $22. Look at that. That is so freaky. And they're soft. They're not going to hurt you if it touches anything. Um, and you can totally use that as a costume safely. Some more of the weapons that I like are these axes. Look at this one. It looks all worn down. That makes it even more creepy. That one is $15. And we have some awesome knives here. And right behind those, we do have a bunch of swords. I love the swords. Look at that. If you were going to be like a knight or something, that would be perfect. $17. That is an awesome sword. I don't know what the baby head is all about, but look at this staff. That's actually kind of heavy wow look at that look at that creepy face that is crazy 25 dollars, and that's this is like a heavy staff i see something behind this sword right here that i think is super cool look at this a gold sword i love anything gold that is super cool 19.99 for him they also have the machete this clear machete i like this a lot kind of unique it is clear with some blood stains on it for 13 dollars. and they have these sledgehammers these are actually popular look at that i would love it i would love to have it 20 dollars. i always want to make a movie every time i see these weapons they have some of our plush dolls Hugs the Clown, Devilish Desmond, Decrepit Haunted Doll, Monkey Chimes. He's my favorite. I love to chime his little chimes. Another thing that I love is these crawling monster hands. My dad used to have one of these when I was a kid, and it would crawl around the house all the time. You hit the button, and he crawls around your house. It actually works really well, too. And that is $30. They do have a ton of the awesome bobbleheads. They have the Baby Killer Clown, Georgie, Sam Lollipop Stab, Bagwell, Scraps, Ghostface. We don't see that one a whole lot. I think he probably sells out pretty quickly. And he is $40. And they also have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And look at this. They have a Crouchy plush, guys. We're seeing more of these lately. He is $30. I have one of these, and they are super awesome. I've probably seen this before, but I don't really remember it. Look at this awesome Monsters, Inc. blanket. Monsters, Inc. was my childhood. I love it. It's got all the doors on it and everything. I don't see any new pop figures, but they do have the Sanderson sisters and they have the colorful jumbo. Let's look at some of these things. I don't really look at them all too often. We've got a couple of cockroach magnets. That's cool. I didn't even know those existed. $5 and you can put those on your fridge. That would be really awesome. Here's some mini hairy spiders. Oh my gosh. That is cool. $4 for those. They also have severed fingers, eyeballs, all the rings and black spiders. They also have a little bag of bones here. Teeth, more eyes, baby all heads. What? Oh my gosh, that is cool. $6 for those. These are super ball eyeballs. They're bouncy balls. Syringe pens. They have all kinds of awesome stuff that you can put in party favor bags if you're going to have a Halloween party. Look at this squishy mouse. They call it squishy mouse. That is too funny. $6 for the squishy mouse. Let's see how squishy he is. Wow. He actually feels like he has like sand in him or something. Anna Cooper was looking for a mummy costume. And let me tell you, this has been one of the hardest costumes to find. 
find. Almost nobody has it. And look at that. It is a pretty awesome costume. Includes the shirt, pants, and mask for $40. And this one is a large 12 to 14 child size. This is honestly kind of rare. It is over here at the Halloween store in Brighton. In addition to the mummy, they do have Jack the Reaper, child size medium 8 to 10 for $45. And look at this. Is that Momo? No, Jeff the Killer. That's what his name is. He is a freaky costume for $40. Our kid is looking for clown costumes. We have a ton here, guys, including the Wacky Mole Clown. They have the Wacky Mole Clown costume. $60 for that. We also have the Zombie Clown. And look at this one. Clown Capture. I would totally get that one. It looks like a clown has grabbed you. And this one is $55. Big Top Terror. This is a cool, colorful one. Look at the purple on him. And he is $40. Here's another very colorful one. Neon Clown. Look at the swirls on his suit. That's a super cool one with the green hair. And they have the Hugs the Clown costume. You don't see that one every time now. This one is $45. And look at the gloves on that. I do like that. That is super freaky. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween in Brighton, Michigan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.